Yeah. Well, our next guest can sympathize with every exhausted, overwhelmed, and underappreciated new mom out there. She's a mom herself, and with two kids and a job to boot, she's managed to squeeze in time to write a book. Here to share her secrets on surviving those first months of motherhood is Sacramento mom and author Geraldine Broder Murray. Welcome. Oh, well, Thanks thank for, for being here. Me. I am so That's impressed, great. and I. I Guy and I both agree. We love this book. <laughs> yeah, Guy said he was book. in tears. Right? I know. I, I read so it touched. last night. Yeah, yeah. the it's best compliment great. I've received. Inspiration for new motherhood. Hey, you know, fathers can get some stuff Definitely. Some from this as well. I'm open yes. to anyone. Peace of me. mind. Yes. Come on, Dad. And there are good. <laughs> you know, I like it because it's for one short and and easy to read. There are good like bullet point things because new moms don't have time. No. But also good things that dads should keep in mind, yeah. like. Stretching in front of the Oprah Winfrey show does count as an active. Oh, definitely. I still count that, and I have you a four should. and one year old. I'm long past the newborn. And day. I like that the one that's really simple: breathe, repeat. Because yeah. you know it's easy to forget <laughs> at times breathing. when you're you know very stressed. We need to remind ourselves. <laughs> now, what motivated you to write this book? Well, when I had my daughter, who's four and a half, Reese, um, and now I have a one-year-old son as well, I really was surprised by how much it threw me for a loop. The newborn time, I mean, I was an accomplished professional. I'd been, you know, writing. I've been an advertising copywriter for over a decade. I don't want to date myself, but... <laughs> and I thought, you know, a baby. It's like, I how can hard can that. this be? It's like a seven-pound little thing, but I really... <laughs> I Famous was, last word. Exactly. Yeah, really. Seven pounds, two ounces. Um, sh just the experience, I couldn't believe how exhausted I was, how isolating new motherhood can be, and also the pressure to feel like you can't say that. You can't say, I'm so tired, and I didn't know this was going to be this hard. Because it's almost like then you're saying, you're not a good mom, or you don't love your baby, and I think none of that is true. I think it's just becoming a new mom, a new parent is very overwhelming. Is there a sense of abandonment from friends and family when you have a baby? Do you feel sometimes that you're kind of on your own? I think if they don't have them, especially. Yeah, I think, yes, I think to both of like you. Like they want to kind of leave you alone with your baby, well, no, or maybe they're afraid somehow. I think that it's all good in the hood if you say, <laughs> if you say hey, this is great. You know, if you say, this is great, this is the best thing that ever happened to me, that's what people want to hear. But if you say, you know what, I'm really kind of struggling here, I think it's there's definitely a sense of, okay, well, I don't really want to hear that. I want to hear the good stuff. And so I wrote this book really to reach out to new moms to say, you know what, whatever, wherever you're at in your new mom journey, it's okay. If you're doing great and you're smooth sailing, that's wonderful. If it's more challenging than you thought, that's okay, and it's going to get easier. It's going to get different. You know, parenthood is a series, as as you know, of different phases, <laughs> and Guy, I'm sure, relates. Um, yeah, he well, hears my horror <laughs> stories. So. <laughs> and it reminds you to ask for help. Yes. It's like if somebody offers to uh, sit with the baby for an hour or take something, it. take it and go take a shower. Exactly. Yeah, Showering exactly. is a lost art when you're a new mom. So <laughs> I, I used to joke, but it's so true, that when I showered during a certain stage when Hallie was really young, I could either shampoo my hair or shave my legs. Yes, there's, it, there's You a can't choice. do it all. What do you do? Put them right outside the tub or the shower? Um, so you can kind of peek out of the I shower. I think you just kind of, you kind of smell for a couple <laughs> months. I don't know. Yeah, it's just I mean, really a crazy time. I mean, you invite people over. It is really a crazy time. I think if you've gotten a shower in, you know, it's a successful day. Okay. So I'm just hoping, the reason why it's, it's quick is I'm hoping, you know, these short little bursts that you can read, you can open to any page at 2 a.m. when you're up, because you will be. And right. get a little boost of confidence or support. And I'm hoping this can be a, a good friend to and new moms everywhere. 150 tips. 150. And, and it's great because they are very realistic. And I think if more moms were more open about the, the parts that are hard, then when you do get in that situation for the first time, you're not shocked by by the fact that it is a little difficult exactly. sometimes. And some of these, like, your body is not the same. In fact, unless major exercise or surgery is undertaken, it'll probably never be the same. Right. Have compassion, accept it, and move on. Yeah. You know, that's reality. You don't have to look like you did before the baby, and you're probably not going to. And when you can get away, ask a girlfriend to go to a movie, a chick one, bring tissues, and junior mint. See, 27 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I love that. I think it's just, you know, it's about being kinder to yourself as a mom and being compassionate to you as well as your baby. So. And a great you, gift for, yeah. we both had, had you autograph these for, for, friends, for of ours friends of ours that are pregnant. pregnant. Autograph right is, such a, is such a weird term for me, <laughs> yes, but yes, I'm happy to. Yeah, you you're, to you're a celebrity. Oh, yes, thank you. Um, now, how did you write this? Did you write it while you were pregnant? Or no, it was right after, after Reese was born. Well, I'm a copywriter. I've been an advertising copywriter, so I write in short little you know, headlines. And so as I was experiencing the world that was now my own, which just really was totally strange. I started just writing those little things that I, I wish someone had told me.
At 2 a.m. when you were up Yeah, the just baby. randomly. Yeah. I would just, you know, <laughs> jot it out, and then it became more and more. And by the time my son was born, I was like, oh, my God, no one told me becoming, you know, mom of two would be so challenging as well. Okay, that's a good <laughs> myth that maybe you can dispel. I've heard it's easier when you have a second one because they... The Play baby's easier. Together. The baby's easier because you're like, well, I've had a baby before. So you kind of know right. what to do. Yeah, the baby thing. All of a sudden, you're like, why was the baby so hard the first time? Now having two, I'm actually getting to the good part because they adore each other so, and they do entertain each other and they do love each other. But I think when you first have that second one, you're trying. You've been totally, you know, micro focused, microwaving your first one with all your attention and love, and then all That's of a sudden they have a split. photo album this thick, yes. and the second one has one. And this exactly, thing. Right. and I have one picture right. of my son. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so trying what's to keep next? Up with it. The light at the end of the terrible twos. I hope so. More books. I don't know if that'll be the title, but I hope so. And I'm also doing a book signing this Sunday. Um, great. Oh, tell us about it. Yeah, yeah it's going to be at the Avid Reader. Um, right down also, the street from our studio. Right there. down the street, very convenient. Um, I'm also doing a blog for the Sack B Moms website, which is okay. sackmomsclub.com. And so they're coming out to the book signing and giving away some free things. So they're going to be there Sunday at 1 o'clock, and I'll be signing. I hope to do a follow up to this book. I have a few other projects I'm working on. and. I have a regular gig as well. I'm still doing advertising. How do you do it? So, um, you know, you have learned a, to survive without help. sleep. Huh? I have help in between a great diaper changing. Great husband, and yes, <laughs> between diaper changing stuff. And you know what, guys? If you want to make major points, go out and get this book and give it to your wife. Good That's stuff, but read idea. it first. Would be a great idea. <laughs> read it first because there's good stuff for men in here. Thanks it's good so for much, all guys. disoriented, sleep derived deprived and leaky new mothers. Yes, leak. <laughs> we won't talk about the leaking, but no, yes. Not here. Not That's on definitely the show. can be a problem. I like this. For 132, you're a better mother than you think you are. Yes. There you go. Nice. Gerilyn, yes. thank you so much. Thanks Good so much luck for with having the, me. Uh, Congratulations the, uh, on the on your first too. newborn book. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Well still ahead